street sweepers, bad manners. Profit shitting on redundant rap and bad grammar. Technological and anatomical anomalies. Leave your ears body. For the next fight of the evening, will be under 65 kilogram. Introducing first in the white corner, ladies and gentlemen, is coming from Belarus. Please bring the noise of our Oleg Liktorovic. Demons, auras of a phoenix, heart in every syllable, so overstand we mean it. Hit you every shot, we leave you purified the cleanest. Real to the touch, but in the clutch, bring a genius. Nowadays, everybody wanna spit the meanest. Coaches in our veins, like we injected intravenous. Escape from the bricks, now we stir enough shit. Keep it rhyming with the beeline, smoking on the greenest. Coaching in our veins, like we injected intravenous. Rhyming with the baseline. Smoking on the greenest. Ladies and gentlemen. Now introducing his opponent to the white corner. Ladies and gentlemen, he's coming from Ukraine. Bring your noise for Zakhar Pavelko. Escape from the bricks, now we stir enough shit. Keep it rhyming with the beeline, smoking on the greenest. Coaching in our veins like we injected intravenous. Rhyming with the baseline, smoking on the greenest. Presenting the wide corner, age 19, weighing 65 kilograms, height 1.70 meters, having a personal record of 11 fights, 8 wins, 3 losses. He's fighting for Gridin Jim from Belarus. Bring your noise for Oleg Lektorovi. Presenting the red corner, age 18, weighing 65 kilogram, height 1.70 meters, having a personal record of eight fights, six wins, and two losses. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Ukraine, bring the noise up for Zakhar Pavelka. This will be a super fight on the 65 kilogram, three minute, three round, extra one round, K1 rules, referee in the ring, Grosu Andre. Check hands, you're fighting FEA rules, I wanna say a clean fight, and obey my commands all the time. Good luck. Judge, 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 first round. Fight. Round one. Touch of gloves, and we are underway here, folks. You can see there is just a uh, slight height advantage. It looks like these two are both 170 centimeters. Uh, it just looks to me like maybe the man from Belarus who just threw that spinning back kick is slightly taller, but hard to tell here. Whoa, nice kick there, perfectly placed. And Pavelko goes almost completely upside down.
that that something like that has a different effect on you than just being punched in the face. When you get kicked like that, you 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 go upside down. You you lose your equilibrium. It kind of messes with you in, in a different way than just being kicked and down he goes again. Not going to gain any points like that under these rules, but it certainly, as I said, will have uh, an advantageous effect, especially on the psyche of your opponent. Stop. Whoa, and this one very quickly degenerating into a mixed martial arts contest. These two now focusing on takedowns, perhaps a little bit more than strikes. Mixing it up now, back and forth. Nice shot, solid downstairs to the body and a cracking counter punch there by the Belarusian. Push kick there, I think the toes just grazed the jaw that time of the Ukrainian. You can hear that shot. Just out of range and both guys, again, almost simultaneously landing punches, getting right up in the face that time, pushing his head back with his glove. Good exchange there. I love the body work of the Ukrainian, Tara Pavelko, as he goes downstairs with hard lefts and rights. This guy's not a headhunter. Well, th this guy is, and it's working too. Five. Break. Looking for knees on the inside. And th there's a game going on in here. You can see that whenever one guy lands a specific kind of a shot. The other one likes to follow it up with the same technique here. It's a it's a battle of grit. It's a it's a battle of wills of attrition between these two. Stop. End of round one. Round two. Fight. Here we go, folks. Second round underway here. And this one breaking down right away. And there he goes down again now. That's got to be the third or fourth time that he's hit the canvas here. And referee Andre Grosu getting up in his grill, letting him know that that is not allowed under these rules. Very, very aggressive tactics now on the inside. A lot of times these two swinging with almost what seems to be reckless abandon, not even really pulling the trigger very cerebrally, but just letting it go and hoping for the best. And sometimes you really have no choice in, the, in that matter either when your opponent is just stalking you the way that Liktorovic is doing in the black shorts. As soon as he comes in the striking distance, you'd better let him have it. Stop. Five. Stop. Five. We're getting these very strong clashes because it seems like Liktorovic wants to be that that fighter who's pushing the 
forward all the time and coming forward, but the problem is the Velko's not backing up at all. He's not stepping back, and he's just standing his ground. And as soon as Liktorovic comes anywhere close to striking distance, he is engaging. Fight. One shot may have strayed a little bit low, but the referee disagrees with that. And we continue. You can see a lot of reddening. There are bruises from head to toe on Oleg Liktarovic, but certainly he has taken a lot of punishment. But another thing to take into account, too, he's, he's very fair-skinned. He's very light-skinned. And when you get a fighter like that, the, 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 the bruises tend to show a lot more. They become much more prominent. But you can see there is almost not a spot on his body now that has not turned red. Stop. Like the way he blocked that knee. It's hard Pavelko, he brought the elbow downwards. Ooh, he didn't block that one. The right hand got through and maybe the knee as well. Stop, stop. Let's go, so let's go on. Fight. Stop. End of the second round. We got ourselves a close fight. I think it's very close. If I had to inch it one way or the other, I wouldn't put it much in either man's favor, but <laughs> here, comes, here comes the but. I may give it to Oleg Liktorovic. I may just inch it there just a little bit if I had to. If someone said you have to or we're going to throw you out of the building right now, I may give it to Liktorovic. I think he's more powerful, and uh, I, I think he's maybe landed more overall uh, strikes, but it's very, very close. Seconds out. Black, white. Third round. Fight. There goes the bell. Third and final round underway here, folks. At the FIA World Grand Prix in Odessa, Ukraine. It's a historic night. Fight. Not only is it the first time that FIA has organized a show in Ukraine, it's the first time they've organized a show outside of Moldova, and it's also Independence Day here in Ukraine as well. So lots of things going on on this day. You can see that uh, certainly Zhar Pavelko Stop. showing his national pride with Fight. the Ukrainian colors on his trunks and his anklet. Hard kick there. Slaps the midsection just in the liver area. Ooh, and he Stop. snuck a Stop. good right hook there. Second that hit him closer. right in the jaw. No action, okay? Fight. Andre Grosso has had the caution, uh, uh, Liktorovic a few times now. Strong cautions here. And he, if he has to continue doing so, may whip out that yellow card if he feels it's necessary, which will dock the fighter one point. That's the way they do it here. He's got a yellow card and a red card. He, he throws the yellow one out. You can kiss one point goodbye. If he brings the red one out, Only you can kiss the fight goodbye. Fight. Oh my, what a popping kick that was. Right across the gloves, but you can see the impact that it had. It threw his head backwards, and there's a spinning back fist. Keep in mind, folks, on the scoring criteria here in FIA, after knockdowns and cumulative damage, it is spectacular strikes. So in that department, certainly Liktorovic leading the way. Good exchange from both gentlemen there. They said, I, I think that Liktorovic is just Stop. getting the better of Pavelko in those exchanges when they when they tend to mix it up. I, I think that it's the Belarusian fighter who's getting the better of it. 
Good block, though. He's very good at blocking those shots, is the Ukrainian, down low on the inside. When he comes in with a knee or a kick to the body, he's very adept defensively. And that'll eliminate a lot of unnecessary pain later in the evening. Stop. Fight. Look at the knees just being unleashed one Stop. after another by Liktorovic. Good left hand, counter shot there from Pavelko. Mixing it up now Stop. with 10 seconds left. Fight. This is the third round, folks. Oh, my. Good combination there, and what, there's the bell. A great way to finish the fight for Oleg Liktorovic of Belarus. Days everybody wanna spit the meanest. Coaches in our veins like we injected intravenous. Escape from the bricks, now we stir enough shit. Keep it rhyming with the beeline, smoking on the greenest. Coaching in our veins like we injected intravenous. Rhyming with the baseline, smoking on the greenest. <laughs> I thought that was a good fight. I thought that was a great fight at Featherweight here in FIA. As I said, a uh, very exciting division. A lot of fast-paced action and a lot of very strong fighters, especially tonight on the card. So I think whoever makes the best showing here in Odessa at 65 could have a good head start on the other fighters. So overstand, we mean it. Hit you with the shock, relief, you purify the cleanest. Real to the touch, but in the clutch, bring it genius. Are you following the FIA girls on Instagram? Because if you're not, you're missing out on something. Real to the touch, but in the clutch, bring it genius. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the referee decision. The winner is by unanimous decision for the wide corner, Belarus Oleg Liktorovich. I had a funny feeling about that. A great, great fight from uh, Oleg Liktorovich. Tsar Pavelko, a strong fighter in his own right, but it just was not his night tonight.